In this video, I will talk about the estimated price for Nero versus Kona. So uh, many people want to know well, what is the price for uh, Nero. Like, if it's going to be what, much more expensive than Kona, then they will still go for Kona. So we don't know, of course, for sure. So in this video, I will just estimate or guess what the price will be. So don't take my word for it. Uh, so I asked my good friend here in uh, Korea, in Seoul, and uh, he said that you know, uh, here, well, okay, we have they have some subsidies here, and it depends on which city you live in. But at least in Seoul, uh, a Kona Electric uh, is around 30 to 33 million won, and then Nero is 31 to uh, 35 million won. So if you do the quick math here, you see that uh, Nero costs about 5% more than Kona, and. Um, I think we it's safe to expect the same difference in other markets like in Europe or whatever, you know. Um, <clears throat> so that means, for example, in Norway, um, Kona in Norway costs 325,000 nuk and uh, Nero should cost 340,000 nuk. So that's like, it's actually Nero will be like in the higher price range. It will be slightly more expensive than in the top spec. Um, uh, let's say top spec leaf. Uh, it will be more expensive, way more expensive than Ionic, uh, and also actually like uh, Kia Soul. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, well, not eGolf. eGolf and i3. They are in like a different price range. But you know, I, I think uh, based on like my assumption that uh, 340k or you know five percent higher price uh, seems plausible because. I don't think uh, Nero will, I mean, or Kia want to place this one, let's say, in the same price range as um, as i3 or uh, eGolf. So um, uh, they they tr they will try to compete with with Kona. Uh, and you've seen in the previous video that um, Kona and Nero they are like neck on neck on on features, interior quality. Uh, well, okay, space. This one wins on space. So you know, that's why I I think that um, Kia. They can they can allow themselves to price this car slightly higher, but you know I don't think they can price it like 10, 15 percent higher. So five percent is my best guess. Yeah. So we will see then eventually in a couple of months when the prices are uh, announced what it will be. So because um, why do I make this video by the way? Because so many people ask me, well, do you know the price? Do you know the price? I'm like, no, I don't know the price. Uh, and also the price is a very important. Uh, like aspect because uh, some people might want the Nero because of the space but if it costs way too much then they have to ditch it and go for Kona or something else but pretty much it's, it's just Kona and Nero are battling here because these two have amazing range uh, compared to the other one even Ampera E both can't compete with Kona and Nero in range they they have like 400 kilometers of real world range whereas this one is 500 yeah so um, yes, I think uh, that's it. A short video about the price. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoy the video. And of course, we are sitting in uh, the Nero. This is with a gray interior. There's also one with a black interior. So I like the gray interior. Yeah, it makes everything looks brighter. And also have the, the sunroof open, by the way. Uh, see if I close the uh, sunroof. Yeah, so you get slightly more like light in here. Yeah, so I know you guys can't wait to see more Kona, more Nero videos. They will be coming. So that's it for now. Talk to you guys later.